Okay, I just want to show you a prototype of uh, something I've been working on. Um, localization in plugins. So this is a classic example. We have a Sir Trevor plugin here and we have some welcome text. Um, but if I change my language to, for instance, Danish, then everything is translated except my plugins um, uh, labels, which is kind of annoying. Um, and the only way to modify this is to actually modify the uh, XML files that ships with Umbrago, which then turns into a merge hell, etc. So I thought, why don't we do something else? So uh, let's say that uh, we want to localize uh, this text. We can just use the uh, normal way to localize in Umbrago 7, and here I got so Trevor, which is uh, which is my package, and then I have my intro text here, and then of course some default text. Uh, so I'm just going to save this um, and refresh. And now when I look at the page in Danish, I have some Danish weird stuff here. But if I swap my language to a to an English one, then um, Hopefully it will be English. So let me show you why that actually works. I just need to clear the cache. And here's the English one. So what if we wanted a German one? Let's see, do we have that Spanish one? And I'm just gonna go back, refresh. Back to content, and well, unfortunately, I only got the key here. Um, so let's see what we have to do. Go to our plugin folder, and now I've added a folder called lang, and here's some language files. So I'll just take this one and call this one. Let's call. Yes, I guess. Let's just double check if that works. And we will say hola, Sir Trevor, like this. And then, unfortunately, because of caching, we just need to uh, reboot the uh, the web server. So I'm just going to do that. And if we're lucky, everything works now. Ooh la la! So now you can actually just, uh, in your plugin, you can just add a folder. Actually, you don't. Uh, you just add these uh, language files, which is just JSON files, and it will be picked up. So just a short prototype.